KSM show. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Well, my my, my guest that's coming in, uh, it's a man to respect, man. Somebody I've loved and respected for a long time. He 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 is wearing two hats, uh, but we are going to be focusing on one hat predominantly here. Uh, his main hat is that he's the founder of the Living Streams Ministries worldwide, uh, Dr. Ebenezer Marque. And uh, yeah, so to love before I come. And also, also happens to be the president of the Odadie uh, Alumni Association, the global Odadie, Odadie is Presec, you know. And the reason I have him here today, folks, is um, I remember when I was in the US and I, I was at uh, Trinity College, I was at NYU, and I was amazed at how the alumni of the universities were putting up, putting back, you know. I feel guilty because sometimes I'll go to uh, uh, like Prempe, I'll start to say, oh, tell you we have this, you know, and I'm like, what have you done about it, you know. But this is an example of what a dedicated alumni can do for their alma mater. And especially when they have the person representing them who is active and who inspires them. So let me stop talking right now. Let me have the honor to invite Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Welcome to the show, man. Oh, thank you very much. It's yeah. good to have you here, man. Yeah, I feel blessed, man. Uh, but you know, I, I could see some gray hairs over there. Oh, yeah. Charlie, it's on you. Uh, hey, but uh, sometimes gray hair too means wisdom and prosperity. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope this one means that. <laughs> <laughs> we take a short commercial before we come back. Yeah, thank we'll you. flow. Thank so you. stick around, folks. Reverend Dr. Marque Ebenezer Marque is in the house. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oluman Boogie will be right back. Bravo. Well, yeah, you have quite a ruckus here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, fan, they, your fan club is not easy. Oh. They, can, they can feel the anointing. Uh, you, you can easily start a church. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I come for training. Oh, by all means. I come for training, then you can... But, but I can imagine what your church is going to be like. Really? Um, your father is even going to stand up and clap. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be fancy. It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So welcome to the show, man. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And how is uh, Global Life? Uh, is Global uh, Life Ministries? No, uh, Living Streams. Living Streams. Yeah, it's Ministries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I was certain I'm, I'm going to surprise you one day. One day I'll be at the front row. Oh, very soon. Oh, that day if you are not very careful, I may not be able to say Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> when I'm going to say Nebuchadnezzar, I will say Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> 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 the whole KSM in my front row. Man, <laughs> I'll be there soon. Uh, uh, it will be, soon. It, it will be like paradise. <laughs> Preamble to paradise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you're such a popular person. And really? So easily recognizable. And you just crack people up. I wish I could crack people but up. You like do. You, no, you do. I, I mean, the, 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 I, you, I you flow that. so easily, effortlessly. Oh, I, I really wonder. You know the interesting thing? You, you can easily make fun of big people and they'll be laughing. <laughs> if I do, uh, my mom, <laughs> uh, they've changed my residence permanently. <laughs> <laughs> you get by with it. I think it's a gift. I thank you, thank gift. you, yeah. thank you. Well, it's good to hear great words from great people, oh, you know. It's yeah. always encouraging. Yeah. yeah. But, but Revo, can I call it Revo? Oh, Revo, yeah. I feel free, crowd. Revo. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've been called many names. That's that they've not called me Archangel yet. <laughs> <laughs> Revo, um, uh, today I said I was going to focus on what you have done with uh, our alma mm. mater, man, or that year. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah. And um, first of all, um, what inspires that? Because I and everybody is watching, and we all have our alma maters, and we all sometimes pay lip service to what we will do. But how did you practicalize this? Well, um, first of all, I, I realized that um, for everything to succeed, you know, I'm from the Bible. Yeah. God gave a blueprint for for success, and the blueprint is very easy. It can find in Habakkuk two, uh, one to three. When it says, you know, write the vision, especially the verse 2, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that mm. it may run that read with it. God gave a formula for success. 
And that formula is four. Now you need four people. Four people to make a dream come true. Number one, you need a visionary. Visionaries are like madmen because they are standing in today, but they are stretching out their hands or they are holding pictures of tomorrow and declaring pictures of tomorrow today. And so sometimes you may not be able to understand the yeah. like Kwame Nkrumah and all the, the things we're talking about. Yeah. You, get to, you, you can't live in their day. I mean, they are, not li they are living in their day, but they have transcended their day and they are stretching and touching tomorrow. And the way they speak about tomorrow, because you don't see that about them, we, we look around, there's nothing... Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. I can't even understand what they are seeing. Yeah, so you ask which side of the weed are they smoking? Yeah. Right? The wet side <laughs> or the dry side? <laughs> you know? You know? And, and those are the things that... So the visionary is there. Then the next one is the writers. Is, is the right to the vision. That is people who would translate the dreams or the abracadabra of the visionaries get it right, make it simple so that people will be able to understand. So you, you need, and the writers must be people who are capable. They have mm -hmm. the ability, mm. they are willing, they are able, and they are available. Mm. You know, and then they are capable, they have the capability to do it. Even for God to build a, a temple, yeah, he told Moses that, guess you, if I leave you to build the temple alone, you are a stammerer. Mm. And imagine him communicating to bring me mm -hmm. the, bring me the, 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 what do you call it, the, the chisel. So he said, listen, there's a Bezalel and there's an Aholiab. And use them. Aholiab is a tent, father of tents. That means he's an expert at tent making. So he says, go for Aholiab. He's an expert today. So someone who has the technical expertise. Mm. You get it to complement what you don't have. And then also the Bezalel, that's, it means shadow. And shadow means, first of all, um, loyalty, you know, um, not just loyalty, but flexibility. Mm. And then also echo, you know, to echo, because your shadow echoes you. Mm -hmm. Your shadow mm -hmm. is loyal to you. Everybody mm -hmm. will leave mm -hmm. you, but your shadow is always mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Your shadow is flexible. When you move, your shadow also moves. So there's flexibility. And then the third one will be the table men. That will write it upon tables. So the table men. And table men are those who are going to take the risk. A lot of people say Jesus fed 5,000 men. I agree, but read it carefully. He did not feed the 5,000 men. Mm. No, he did not. See, he only prayed for the bread, a visionary. I want to feed the people. That's a dream, a desire, a vision. And then he takes the bread and prays for it, over it, and then he gives it to his disciples. And the disciple, every disciple puts the bread under his armpit. So number one, they took ownership of the dream. And number two, they took the risk. So they were the people who went to the people and told them, Jesus said, I should come and give you bread. Jesus said, they had faith in Jesus. And they said, Jesus said, I should. So really, those guys were hungry people. And if you read it carefully, a hungry man is an angry man. If you come and stand in front of the angry man and tell him, I should give you bread, then you think that, that person can slap you. Their hunger called Jesus to stop his sermon. I said, Charlie, look here, I'm preaching, but the people, they are not listening. <laughs> I need to give them food. Mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm, you understand? Mm -hmm. So you need table men. That is the risk takers. That is the people who are willing to go down there. And then the last one is the runners. Those are the ones who are going to uh, put in energy and sacrifice time, talent, and treasures to make the thing. So immediately, I was made the uh, that year president. There were questions I asked myself, and the question I asked myself was, one, growing up in Presec, all throughout my days, I never saw old boys' activism. I never saw the old boys coming back. Maybe one Sunday night, one would come and preach. And I could never see the picture. So for many of us, we grew up without pictures of old boys. And mind you, humanity, God describes us as sheep. Of course, some people are goats. You can always tell <laughs> people there, you know. But then, uh, what we see is what we reproduce. If Jacob painted the doorpost of the sheep house, what the sheep see is what they reproduce. What you see at home is what you reproduce. What you see, if you come from an abusive family or an abusive system, you think that might is right. So the law of the jungle is what you've been brought up with. So you, you walk that road. If you come from an unfaithful house, you think that that is what is prevalent. Mm -hmm. So the picture, we never saw pictures of old boys. So we grew up without feeling mm. or knowing that mm. we had a responsibility mm. towards mm. the system. The other thing I realized that in Presec we're very cerebral. You know, we've got brainy people, top scientists. We have doctors per square meter than any other school. That's the truth of it. Because at one time, you know the science college, uh, about 60 to 80% of 
uh, medical students were coming from Presec. Engineering school, Presec. You get it, pharmacy, the allied sciences and all those things, Presec. So these people are very cerebral. So they are not the ones that are appetite, they want to jump, they want to you get it, make noise and all those things. Mm, you know? mm, so, mm. And I realized that as a result of that, we were suffering in terms of vibrancy. So when I was made the president, I said, okay, I need to change this. So I captured three words. Number one, visibility. Mm. Pre-seconds are everywhere, including NASA, including CERN. We have pre-seconds over there. Pre-seconds are in Pentagon. Pre-seconds are everywhere in the world. You get it. Even if you go to Formosa, you get it. Oh, don't ask me whether we are in jail. We are not. <laughs> for, for Christian training, we get it. <laughs> but then, you know, I realize that they're everywhere. Nobody knows them. No, Nobody no, feels no visibility. them. There's no visibility. So we got to make this, uh, the organization visible. Number two, vibrancy. We got to make noise. Everybody blow your trumpet. I thought you said, no, 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 no. You see, you don't go to church. <laughs> 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 so you see, I mean, we need to be vibrant. Mm -hmm. Make noise. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gideon is able to win a war with 300 people just by the noise they make. I know other schools. I don't want to describe the term I'll use for them. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I'm only going to take me to court. These mm -hmm. days, it's a rule of law, you know, and all those <laughs> things. But I know of other schools that are nowhere near in terms of academic excellence, in terms no, of... Nowhere near pre yeah, no, But they made the noise. Hey, they create the visibility. No, hey. <laughs> Man, I, 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 my, my, my wife is from Motown. Hey. The visibility. The noise they yeah. make. And, and really, they need to make noise because yeah. they have something to celebrate. Yeah. yeah. We have something to celebrate. But we don't make noise. Mm. And I thought, what's going on over there? So the vibrancy. And then viability. So three Vs. Visibility, vibrancy, viability. That is to make, create structures that will last long after we are gone. Mm. And harness the energy that we derive from this thing mm. into projects to change the school mm. and to dictate the pace. Now, we all know that there are four stakeholders to, or three stakeholders to every educational institution. Number one, if government is involved in it, sector ministry. In America, it's not like that because they've been able to uh, absorb themselves off every this thing and allow free this thing. You get it? Because it's a capitalist uh, organization. You know, what, sometimes when there's too much government intervention, it's not too good. But we as a Presbyterian school, we have a missionaries. So the mission is also a stakeholder, a major stakeholder. And the third one is the PTAs, Parent Teachers Association. Your child is there, so you must be involved in the school. Then the last one, and for me the strongest, is the Old Students Association. Mm. Whether we like it or not, you said NYS, you, you were in NYU. My daughter just, um, she graduated from Yale. The alumni there have a, an endowment fund. You're talking of the 20 plus billion. Yeah. They are now building a new, this thing. She went to Johns Hopkins. The alumni from Johns Hopkins, she just graduated from Johns Hopkins. The alumni from Johns Hopkins, wow. Yeah. Then now she's in Cleveland. The alumni, the people there. I mean, the kind of activity that goes on there and the kind of networking. You know, in Yale, they have the sororities and all those other things. So you're graduating, but you belong to a sorority. By the time she got to Cleveland, her sorority, in, in, Yale. in Yale, we're already in Cleveland preparing for her. They helped her um, buy her furniture, to stack up her room and all those things. They help, they help her move. That is in. We were not able to attend her white coat. Mm. But guess what? They were there. Mm. The sorority was there. They, was there. they were there. That's how powerful alumni is. Networking. The, pros the prospects are. Listen. And also the ability to give back. To that is the many um, old students organizations gather around nostalgia. Mm. You get it? When we were, where were you? Mm -hmm. And so we remember mm -hmm. us with all, when we were tomfoolery mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. our nicknames, you get it? Some funny, funny nickname, Abele Wanga, you get it? <laughs> yeah, Mafi Few, you get it? Also, Ma, I remember it. in our time, Mate 24. Uh, uh, Mate 24, uh, my son is Mate, so don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, all those yeah. this thing, you get yeah. the Allah, you get the Harris, you get yeah. the, I mean, don't go you. And I mean, 
all sorts of names. You get the uh, Bela, I say, uh, I mean, all sorts of names. What was your name, by the way? I'm not going to tell you. Really. <laughs> uh, 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 you. You have to be holy. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I had one, I had one, you know, and uh, they used to call me uh, B-Man. B-Man? Uh, B-Man, B-E-E-M-A. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, it's not my name, actually. B-Man. Just like a B-Man, man. I thought, you know, my cousins were in Motown, and I think they were in, I think, Pempe, so uh, mm. they were quite notorious guys. You yeah. Know? And then we were together in Laboni for six form and... So I had one Rasta Bima. And because they were my cousin, they also named me Holy Bima. Holy Bima. Yeah, because <laughs> I, 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 I've been trying to walk the street and narrow path for a long time. It's mm. not easy, but well, mm. we have to do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I think that's, uh, and then we began to harness our energies into projects. So we gather around nostalgia, but that's not right. Yes, let's enjoy, you get it, but let's also have a sense of responsibility mm. to give back to our school. We are who we are today because of the school's school contribution. Yeah. They made, the school made a very vital contribution mm. to my perceptions, my principles, you know, all are dependent upon where I'm coming from. And like, you know, um, Kennedy said, we'll never know where we're going. Oh, no, Reagan. Ronald Reagan said, we'll never know where we're going until we know where we're where coming, coming from. from yeah. So as a result of that, we can gather around nostalgia, but we must have a sense of responsibility. We were 800 people for the whole population of Presec when I was there. 78, I left in 78. But right now there are 3,000. 3,000 people are still dependent on 800 population infrastructure. Come on, it won't work. So then we began to employ ourselves to take up things. It's, it's very hard because you know, the um, probably the Presbyterian principle of giving is widow's might, you know, so maybe the widow's might concept. So getting people to undertake huge projects was a very difficult thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a it's a old student thing, a Ghanaian old student thing, because if Tesla, uh, Elon Musk, stood in Yale and he gave them over five million dollars, bang bang like that, even Angelique uh, Kijo, yeah. yeah, she gave them some money at Yale. And they gave her a doctorate. And I'm saying to myself, I mean, these are people who are donating to their alma mater in a very crazy way. And Angela did not go there to saw her daughter mm. who was there, but she's doing it. Yeah, yeah. So that's one of the things is to get people to contribute. And here's the point. Nemo Dad could not have it. You can't give what you don't have. So I have to demonstrate it by me taking the lead and giving. So we needed to sacrifice our time, our talent, and our treasures. And that's what I place myself in. I sacrifice my time, sacrifice my talent, and sacrifice my treasures. Um, um, a dreamer and um, a little bit of a, a, a crazy. My wife touch over <laughs> there, so so sometimes my wife would touch for zzz, for uni yeah, uniform, yeah. Zzz, zzz, for bonfire. So you know what we did? We organized the bonfire, and that was to get our people together. One is coming on the sixth of October, and at that bonfire. It was very interesting how it was even done. We were dealing with a renegade year group that had a little bit of excesses. But I recognized something. They were young, they had energy. We were old, we had wisdom, but we didn't have energy. So marry the energy of the and young. The maturity. And the maturity of the old. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. Boom. Wow. The first bonfire, we netted 5,000 people. Second one we did last year, 8,000 people. It is not, we had people with telecounters counting at the gate. 8,000 people. And if you come in, you may not recognize your year group, but you, you won't yeah, see them. Yeah. It was a sea of people, masses. And you know, people say, well, we are not the originators of, of Bonfire. We don't have copyright. Other schools, I, I, we're doing it before we did. But guess what? They, are, they don't have copyright because it's cavemen who have copyright. <laughs> you get it? So cavemen did bonfire. So if we also copy bonfire, but this time we improve it. So we did this thing and turn it around. And our bonfires are frightening. I mean, we stop um, traffic from 
37 all the way to Medina. Wow. Poli uh, police call, police are coming. Last year, the, we asked them, the first year we asked them, they gave us about five policemen. They, 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 they were in all sorts of trouble. Last year, they gave us, uh, last two years, they gave us five. Last year, they gave us about 10. Still. Right now, we are asking for 50 to 100 because of the, the sea of people. When you see them, you know, so we also broke out the uh, year groups into various things so that they can be able to, 10 years, we are introducing you, we call you responsible year group. You must, we are inducting you to responsibility. Mm, yeah. 25 years, you are building something or you are renovating something or you are taking a project. You know, 40 years, you are doing commemoration um, service. You are doing commemoration, they, you're also presenting as a project. You know, 50 years, we are honoring you because you served. Uh, so broke them down into different things and uh, it works. I must be very honest, I stole ideas from other schools. Mm -hmm. I mean, cool. that's what is that? <laughs> why, why should you go and reinvent the wheel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wheel is there. Oh, the wheel is there, so take it and use it. I mean, <laughs> that tight. You know, put a ribbon on this wheel there, yeah, yeah. and then you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up. But I'd like to walk through some of the things that you have done uh, for the great order here, and then um, we'll be wrapping it up. But let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. It's going to get sweeter than guinea fowl. It's the KSM Show.